show you what can go wrong on a tiled roof and what you need to look out for so that you can check your roof yourself and make sure that it's storm safe and weatherproof. This particular roof that we're going to look at first is about 20 years old, so it's a really good example of what can go wrong on a tiled roof over time. And after that, we're going to take you to a younger, low-set tiled roof that we're restoring at the moment. Now, the first thing to look out for on a tiled roof is cracked pointing, such as this right here, or even where it's falling out. See, the problem with that is that the cracks can actually be a place where water can trickle into. Or worse, when cracks develop in the pointing, it means that the ridge caps are slowly coming loose. In this case, have a look at this. These ridge caps have actually come completely loose. Now you want to make sure that yours aren't like that. You see, in a big storm, big gust of wind, for example, could remove that cap, blow it straight off the roof. So what we've been talking about so far is the security of the roof, mainly with the pointing. But there's another component to what secures the ridge caps to the roof, and that's called the bedding, which is this stuff here. So if water does get into the cracks in this pointing and bedding, it can actually leak inside your ceiling. Just have a look at this roof, where you can see this white mark. That's evidence that water has been getting in. Now I just want to make one final point about repointing and rebedding. It's not necessary to rebed every roof. For example, if these ridge caps were solid, say I couldn't lift them up, then it would be quite appropriate to just address the pointing, which is the mortar on the outside. That means not actually removing the caps and rebedding them, just repointing them. Rebedding is necessary, however, if the ridge caps are loose and all the bedding is loose. So it's important that this pointing and bedding is secure, otherwise your roof won't be storm safe and weatherproof. Now I just want to talk about re-coating your roof. Why would you do that? Well, let's have a look at this roof here. This is 25 years old and have a look at how loose the coating is. Even worse than that is in some places it's actually back to bare concrete, such as that. Which essentially means that the concrete's unprotected. Now why is that a problem? Well, first of all, concrete is a porous surface. Now, I don't want to oversell the case here. Don't imagine that the water would actually soak right through the tile, but a certain amount of water would actually absorb into the surface. That adds extra weight to the roof. So rewind 25 years when this roof was new and it had a nice coating on it. It wasn't just to look pretty, it was actually a protection for the tile. And that's what we can do. We can actually re-coat the roof with a protective roofing membrane. Here's a brand new tile which highlights what I'm talking about. One of the most common things you'll see is broken overlaps. Also, you want to be extra careful of what we call broken watercourses. This is when it looks like this. So hopefully that's given you a good idea of the type of things you need to look out for on your tiled roof. Just one final thing though. This is about an 18 degree pitch roof. Really easy to walk on. A lot of roofs are steeper than that though. So if you get on your roof and you're not quite comfortable up there, probably a good idea to call a professional company to get someone to come out and check it for you. We're happy to do it, so just give us a call. Okay, so now we're on the way to have a look at a roof that we're restoring at the moment, just so that you can see the roof restoration taking place. Oh, there's one thing I really need to show you. If you have one of these, it is the number one cause of leaky roofs is leaves and debris caught in the valleys. You see, this is a water channel. Water comes hurtling down here. If it gets to a clump of debris, it can actually cause it to run inside the roof. So you can see how with water running down here, in lots of heavy rain, the water will actually come down the second channel as well. 
So when it hits this debris, you can see how it could actually run inside the roof instead of running down to the gutter line. Okay, so that's some of the things you need to look out for on your concrete tile roof. Just wanted to point out one thing though. You'll notice on this roof, it's, it's a low set home, so there's been no call for safety rails. If this were a high set house, we'd need to erect safety rails before the work commenced, like the one you see in this photo. Now let's have a look at the restoration process.